Hello everyone, if you're new here, I'm Özge, nice to meet you, welcome to my channel, I hope you are doing well. I don't want to talk too much and we will directly go into the topic of this video and what we will talk about. So before we start with anything, I would like to give a disclaimer that these are my own tips. I didn't really study anything for being a personal trainer. I'm a scientist. I studied biology. I know a little bit, of course, about human body because I learned these in university, but I am not a personal trainer. But these are the things I did. These are the things I enjoy doing. And these are my own tips. If I'm doing anything wrong during this video, or if you're believing that I am doing anything wrong in this video, please ask your your own personal trainer or anyone in the gym that you are going or anyone that you know and you trust. In this video I will show you some of my tips on how to grow your glute. Also some of my favorite at home glute workout exercises. But of course there is a possibility that you are doing different exercises in the gym which will be way more effective than these. But if you don't have the opportunity to go to gym and if you are just starting right now and you don't know how to start and where to start, you can maybe use these techniques or tactics and then in the future improve these with some dumbbells with um glute bands or with even a barbell i will again still show you how to perform hip thrusts at home first exercise of today is glute bridges and for that i would like to use this time a resistance band this one is the hardest resistance band but you could just use also this like play test bands or like easier versions of these or not at all but this would be giving a little bit more contraction on this area and the glute area additionally i will also add dumbbells this one one of these are five kilograms and normally if i am doing a glute bridge with dumbbells in the gym i am using 36 kilograms this is gonna be a little bit easy for me it could look easy on me but it is definitely not easy if you are challenging yourself it could be that it's already hard for you without anything it's already quite normal if you are a beginner it should be like that it was like that for me too you just need to put your bend into here a little bit about the knees you could take your dumbbells normally you could also put a towel underneath but now i'm not gonna feel too much because this is not that heavy ah it's so cold on the floor what we need to do is putting the dumbbell on top of our hips when we are raising our hips we need to push our knees put your hips up push your knees apart like feel the contraction coming here and exactly in the same way you also need to contract your butt there's no actually like a separate empty space here you know it's just completely closed as much as you can put it up don't ruin the form always try to keep the form put it down and again of course there are different versions variations of these you could also do pulses up there like this again going up pushing the knees up backwards up a little bit down up a little bit down so you're not a straight line anymore here but a little bit more up down up. There is also the rope version of it. You basically put your feet next to each other like this and then contract. What I will show you now is a little bit different than the glute bridges, but idea is similar. You could also perform if you are going to a gym. You could also use one of the chairs or like the bench or whatever you would like to use. Or you can also use one of the Smith machines or if you have a hip thrust machine and do a hip thrust. For the hip thrust, we again put this here. This will be a little bit challenging for me, so I'm gonna show it without any dumbbell because you know, chair is not really touching anywhere, so it will go backwards a little bit. So, like right on your shoulder blades, you put it like that, push the knees apart again, go down and up. Don't move your neck, so all of the movement is only on the body. Put the shoulder blades right on top of the corner of one of the benches or chairs. Put only your butt up and down. That's the goal. Up and down. But you don't move your chin. So chin is tucked in. Only up and down on your hips. You can of course also add a dumbbell right there. Another on the floor exercise which I find really really hard actually is the single leg glute bridge. But this time instead of holding it like this, we put one of the legs up. Hold the line go down up down and up the 
single leg glute bridge you can also perform like a single leg hip thrust exactly the same move only with your shoulder blades on top of a chair or a bench another exercise that i find really really useful but i tend to actually ignore it a little bit more is donkey kicks it is also possible that you are just doing a kickback so you can use for this one also if you're standing up the cable machine to put your ankle on one of the ankle straps and then push the cable backwards same move we will do also with the resistance band on the floor if we don't have the option that we have a cable machine first i can show you the donkey kick so you come to a tabletop position push it up now of course without a band this is way easier to perform but with a band you don't have the same range of motion i will also show you without the band so you see the proper way of performing it so you come to a tabletop position you put your knee up down as high as you can reach when it comes to the kickbacks i guess you cannot perform that with a band at least not with a band like this hard if you don't have a cable machine and you are aiming to do this kickback so you hold your feet like this and diagonally up up next exercise that i find quite challenging and i really like doing is the fire hydrants you can also do without the band as always every exercise that i'm showing you here or in any other video you can also do it without a resistance band without a dumbbell if you're thinking that you don't have dumbbells at home for example that's why you don't want to do them with a weight you can just fill two water bottles and use them i also did it at one point like that it's nothing bad everyone starts from somewhere and i think it's completely normal if you are just using a water bottle instead of a dumbbell not everyone has to have every equipment in their home let's go with the fire hydrants now we put the band here always in the same position i'm putting the band coming to a tabletop position and then this time instead of going up like the donkey kicks i'm going to the sides as much as i can pull don't push yourself too hard and keep an eye that like you're not twisting your back or something like that you just stay straight press on the floor and then up it's always important that not that you are doing too many reps or you are lifting so heavy but it is more important that you are doing proper reps i'm showing the same without the resistance band like that i'm assuming you can see the form better and then up for the last exercise of the day is the single leg deadlift you could also do a normal deadlift you should be paying attention to your form when you are doing a deadlift you should really like push your hips back instead of really like moving your chest up and down you don't need to tilt your back like this but you just need to put a straight line to your back so don't push your lower back go on to this position and push the hips back so you are feeling the contraction here right here in this muscles i show you the normal deadlifts first with two dumbbells as i said just put the lower back straight go until where you can go and then up when you are doing a deadlift the most important thing to not to hurt your lower back is do not arch your back you just hold it on a straight line look down when you go up down look up now single leg deadlift i like this one so much because i have a balance problem basically <laughs> it's really hard for me to balance my body you hold the dumbbell on the leg that you are gonna hold straight so you basically just go like this and up this move really requires a lot of balance also a lot of concentration those were my favorite five workouts so that's it from my side i hope you guys like this video and if you have other glute exercises that you would like to suggest me and you want me to try you can also write them down below and i would suggest you if you are going to a gym try these moves with also dumbbells or with a barbell because lifting weights are one of the main reasons that your glutes are growing these are nice exercises if you're starting as a beginner but i would suggest you eventually to start with dumbbells or barbell or weights 
white, any kind of white, whatever you would like to use. Also, you can use a kettlebell or one of these medicine balls or whatever you would like to do. If you would like to grow your glutes, you need to eat properly. You need to not under eat. So you are feeding yourself. Additionally, I have a TikTok where I share sometimes some relatable or also sometimes strange TikToks. Basically, if you like this, you can maybe follow me on my TikTok right here or if you want to see my daily life or if you want to feel like you are basically my bestie then you can follow me on my instagram at fitlifeofoski i'm of course adding both of the links in the description box below and you can also find them in the info card so see you guys on the next week <laughs>